<laughs> I did it again. Yes, I'm going to show you guys uh, the journey I've been on with this motor. It's not that complicated. It shouldn't be that hard. But never fear when I'm involved in something. Never underestimate my ability ability to take something simple and make it very complicated and that's what I've done here so uh, um, yeah you're gonna see all the mistakes I've made over the last little while uh, I haven't been really connecting with you too much but uh, you can see some of the journey I've been on and I hope you enjoy the, sh the, the video um, yeah hang in there hey if I can figure this out so can you so uh, uh, listen in check it out and uh and not a lot of progress but some fun so thanks a lot okay there's a fair amount of sweat and effort and consideration and more consideration and wondering if i was doing it right or wrong and but i believe i have the two halves bolted together this is a very significant step my biggest hope is that I don't have to pull it all apart again. Um, as near as I can tell, it's, it's, it's going well. Um, I haven't tried this yet, but theoretically, I should be able to grab this and pull it and turn it. Crank. The crank doesn't turn. Oh, dear. Hey, guys. Guess what? My motor is in pieces again and i i'm going to just put a blip on the front of this you'll see where it was i put it all together and it was seized and come here i got to show you what happened over here if you look this is one of the main bearings and this hole there's a dowel that's supposed to fit right into this hole perfect and i had it off by that much and i'll show you that dowel right here it was this exact dowel on the motor that I had off by that fraction of an inch. And that caused my motor to, to seize and it was seized and it was bound up. And then I put it all, then I put it all back together again. And I was pretty proud of myself. I mean, I, I, had, I had the pistons going in. I had the, the cylinders on. I was putting the heads on just to kind of hold it all together. It was looking good. And I was turning over and I had this great big nut on the front. And I had my great big bar here and it was hooked on here. And I was turning this around and I had the motor, the two cases of the motor and the cylinders and the heads. And I turned it and I turned it so it could work on the other side. And as I was turning the motor over with this great big wrench, I heard, and now this is the second time I had it together. It was going good, like I had fixed that, that main bearing problem, and I went around and I heard crunch. What on earth could go crunch? I mean, I was going, what? It can't possibly happen. I want to, I want to show you something right now. And here is the problem. The motor didn't have this little spring. When I pulled the mortar apart, it was never in there. As a matter of fact, where the groove was for it, it was full of gunk. So I know it hadn't been in there for a long time. And that's quite, quite likely why this hadn't been driven very much because the last guy that put it together didn't put that spring in. And that's a special spring. And I'll show you what it holds. It holds this guy in place and this drives the distributor cap, which controls your ignition. So that, that, that drives the distributor cap. And this lays across and feeds off of this gear off the crank. So that's it, it, the assembly fits just like that in the case. And so when I, when I turn the case over, what happened is that this slid ahead and it bound up on the brass gear and have a look at that. You see right there and right there and right there 
And right, you know what this gear is? This is no good. <laughs> this is broken. This is no good at all. And so I had to go and I had to pull this gear off. And so I've ordered another one. Now the gear on this is not terribly expensive. But what is just frustrating beyond all belief is the fact that I had taken pride and I did it right the first time. And I'm going to tell you right now, you can take all the time you want. You can try to do it right the first time. You can do all those things. And guess what? It can still mess up on you. So now here I sit and I'm, 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 I'm trying to move forward, but I, I actually took a, a step forward and now I had to take about five steps back. And uh, so I'm, I'm waiting for the parts to come in. I'm waiting for that brass ring to come in so we can put it together. But yeah, um, I, I was really quite proud of myself. I actually I thought I, I had some knowledge when it came to uh, doing some of this mechanical stuff. And uh, I'm discovering, you know how I told you a bunch of times, not too sharp? Yeah, not too sharp. But uh, hopefully we can get this together and make this work. You just never know what's going to happen around here. Well, I got it. How to keep your Volkswagen alive. A manual procedure for the complete idiot. I qualify. Yay. Really wish I would have had that. Um, really wish I would have had that manual earlier. It would have saved me a little bit of headache. Still got to figure out how to uh, do the deck clearance on the cylinders to the head. Um, I haven't sorted that one out yet, but I'll get around to that when I get to that stage, yay. Hopefully, when I get it together this next time, it'll be the last time I have to do that. So, uh, but I'm a lot wiser and uh, sure would like, if you have any other information you need to give to me, please send it my way, appreciate it so much. Have yourself a good day. Again, remember, subscribe and hit that thumbs up. Um, it'll just bring it up a little, it'll be easier to find my videos in the feed if you do that. So subscribe, hit the thumbs up. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye now.